Hi everyone. Uh, good evening. This is Chakru Nursery. Uh, joining with you all. Uh, I have a few moments to share with you all about hybridizing the fuchsia. I have got a quite beautiful variety of this one. You can see that's a beautiful color but the plant size is the flower size is small and the growth is you can see it's not downward facing downward but it is lateral whereas in this case the flower is a very big size you can compare with my uh, finger it's a very good size the big flower you can see but the problem with this flower is everything is i mean facing downward so what i'm gonna do is that i will try to uh hybridize between this variety and this one this one okay and i will show you step by step how to do it and after that if the seeds get, uh, if the fruit forms and we can generate the seeds we can have a new variety so let's start up uh, the foremost first and foremost thing to start the hybridization is that you need to choose a flower which is not fully bloomed which is still close and its anther is not fully uh, ripened and it has not released the pollen so i am choosing this flower i have got many so here you can see these are the this one is actually the sepal and this one is petal and you can see inside this this one is stigma this one is star this is female reproduct uh, reproductive organ and inside here you can see there are various anthers which contains the pollen so if it is ripened and if it releases the pollen the pollen gets attached to this stigma and the fertilization occurs and the seed is formed and in the case of hybridization we will try to extract from pollen from other variety and we will try to give it to the stigma so first and foremost thing is that emasculation emasculation is the process of removing all the anthers from the unmatured flower so first i will try to emasculate that is take out all the possible anthers from out here You might lose the quality of the flower. I'm using a very big scissor, but you can use a small pointed forceps. So in this way, you can take out all the anthers. So after the all, after all the anther is removed, now you need to choose the mature pollen from more mature anther from another variety.
try to pollinate the and pollinate the stigma with another mature pollen. Since we have not got much mature pollen from this one, so we'll try to uh, get a mature anther and uh, release pollen, and that pollen we will attach into this flower again so that the fertilization occurs properly. Thank you, everyone.